In this week's video, we gotta take this mess of a closet and turn it into, into this built out closet unit. Let's get in the video. inch wide closet it's gonna be 20 in 28 inches deep and we're gonna make this 84 inches tall all right so here we go we have the plans drawn out I know what you're thinking how am I able to just make it look so realistic on paper and I don't know it's just talent anyways what we're doing 14 inches deep 18 inches wide 84 inches tall aka 7 feet for you math guys at home Next, we are going to have a 30 inch section at the bottom here for a milk crate that'll be on a rolling cart. That's where I store my important files. We're going to have 15 inches of space right here for three drawers. And then we are going to do an 18 inch storage space right here and 21 inches to the top um, of our closet height where there will be a top shelf right there all along the closet for extra storage space. As you can see, we always get very annoying tear out while making these massive cuts, and that's simply because I don't have four arms. Uh, otherwise, I'd be able to balance it a lot better. But the good part about these happening at the edges like they have is since this only needs to be seven feet tall, I'm gonna just cut those parts off, and you'll never know they were even there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm weird. All right, now that we went full super pro on getting these to seven feet tall, I'm going to use my handy dandy uh, tape measure, pencil, straight edge, and I'm gonna measure out that 30 inch mark, the 15 inch mark and such, all the way up everywhere. Um, if you ever do something like this, make sure you account for your mil uh, material thickness. For example, my first shelf is gonna start at 30 inches up. However, it won't end at 30 inches up, it'll end at 30 and 3 quarters of an inch. So if I want a 15 inch gap, I gotta take 30 and 3 quarter inch and add 15 to go to 45 and 3 quarter inches versus going 30 inches then 45 inches and such. So, little helpful tip and let's get started on this. Alright, we have all of our lines marked off for our shelves now. And the next thing we need to do is actually cut said shelves. They're gonna obviously be 14 inches in depth as well. And they're gonna be 16 and a half inches wide. Yes, that's what the drawing says. Also, before I forget, uh, I went off the factory edge for my bottom pieces. These will be the, this is gonna be the bottom of the unit. And I made sure that to use the factory edge because it'll probably be the straightest cut possible, especially since we had to get squirrely, as John Malecki always says on these top pieces. So let's cut some shelves. So now we have our three shelves all cut up, but before I'm gonna install these with pocket holes, I need to create a nice little diagonal because I want the top shelf to only be 12 inches deep because I don't want this to look so boxy. Um, if it's confusing now, it'll make sense later because that's how it usually goes. Anyways, I'm gonna draw up that little line and cut that diagonal in. And as I said, here's my diagonal line, 12 inches deep at the top, right to the first shelf. I feel like it'll make it look a little bit more modern. It won't look so boxy, especially since we're gonna have a top shelf on this part anyway. So there are my lines. Let's get these all cut off, cut up, and then we're gonna put some pocket holes and assemble the carcass all together. So as you can see, we have our cut. I have a little bit of a mist groove at the top and a little mist groove at the bottom here on this side. Kind of bummed, whoops. Kind of bummed, but these things happen. We're gonna hide it, so 
that's the perks of woodworking. The next thing we need to do is take our shelves right over here and get to pocket holding these and get our bottom one and our top one in place because we got to get our drawer slides situated before we put in our middle shelf. So let's do some pocket holes. So while I was off camera, I sanded everything with 220 grit for the interior pieces as well as the shelves. That's why all the lines are a lot more faded. Now I'm gonna take my impact driver, grab a drill bit and pre-drill a couple holes at the bottom and the top so that when this interior piece here mounts into the wall of our closet, it'll be nice and secure with drywall anchors. So I'm gonna do that now again while it's deassembled so that um, it's just a lot easier to do versus trying to finagle your way around a tight space. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then we're gonna assemble the shelves in place. So for whatever reason, our pocket hole screws are just blasting out through this side of our shell. So in order to make up for that, I'm gonna just use wood glue and brad nails. So that's how we're assembling this. Onward we go. All right, third time's the charm. Pops had a good idea. We are gonna use some flat focus trim head, some flat trim head screws, um, and we are gonna secure this. I pre-drilled all the holes within the um, markings of the shelves. That way I knew where to drill in on the outside part. Um, so we're gonna get this assembled. So we now have our carcass assembled. We are gonna get in our three drawer slides in and that second compartment. And then as you can see, we still have one more line right here. So once those three drawer slides are all into place, we are going to then uh, put in our last drawer. Now that we have our drawer slides in, the next thing we need to do is get in our third shelf right here, and then it'll be time to make some drawer boxes. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting my top storage shelf. This is 12 inches deep. That way I can use the excess material as my drawer boxes for our three drawers. So I'm gonna cut. Well, naturally my camera wasn't recording, but what I did is I used the table saw and ripped off two piles worth of four, four inch tall pieces and then one pile of three and a half inch pieces because we are gonna have, we're gonna have four inch drawer here, four inch drawer here, three and a half inch drawer here, and then obviously we're gonna have our bottom uh, piece as our, will also be three quarter inch. So all in all, these will be right around five inches um, with the exception of the top one. So. I'm gonna get these cut to size and we'll get them assembled. So drawer box one is done, number two, number three right there. So what I'm gonna do next is pull out all the rails from each of the slides and secure them onto our sides of our drawer boxes. And then in a perfect world, these will just slide right back in and we'll be all set on the drawer boxes. We were lucky, we, we are gonna be using the scrap cutoffs we have. 
as our drawer faces as well um, will be the three quarter inch plywood. Um, so we'll get those ready um, as long as this process goes smooth. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. So now that we know this one works, we're gonna follow the same procedure for this one and this one. And we'll get these in there. And then next will be drawer faces. And then we need to get brace pieces for the top and the bottom. So we're smoothing. Grooving. I don't know what smoothing means besides. Anyways, I'm gonna get the rest of these secured. You'll see me when I'm done. So now that we know all of our drawer boxes can fit in there nice and smoothly, I'm gonna do some extra bracing. One piece over here at the top, the other piece at the bottom. Both of these pieces are obviously gonna be 16 and a half inches long, and then they're gonna be three and a half inches thick, and we'll get that connected so there's a little more stability here. And I also went ahead and already cut um, my brace pieces that will be for my top shelf insert. That'll be going to the left here and then from the wall forward. So this piece right here will be nice and supported as well. If it's a little confusing now, it's okay. Just give me about 37 seconds and it'll probably make a lot more sense visually. So now that we have these pieces cut, we're gonna get them installed there and there. Now we are ready for install. First, let's get all this cleared out. And now we're cleared out there. The next thing we have to do is go in on this trim and pop it all out real quick. So we're just gonna use crowbar and a uh, X-Acto knife, whatever you wanna call it, and pop that out. So after a lot of pain and heartache, we finally got this bad boy in. We ended up securing it on the back panels there of our support brace. So that's mounted there. We have a slight gap there because no wall in a house is square apparently. And let me tell you, I'm very frustrated about it. Anyways, so once we got those in, we then secured in these pieces right here as our extra support for the top shelf. The top shelf we did not, I did not secure in simply because this is the only way up to my attic. So to be able to lift that up and out will make it at least a little easier to access there from that side. So this is where we're looking now. The next thing we need to do is cut our drawer faces. We're gonna have five and an eighth right there, five and a sixteenth right there, and then five inches uh, for this one. So I'm gonna use my table saw and get those ripped down. Not perfect, but uh, I'm very happy with this being my first time doing this process with how this all turned out. The next thing we need to do now is put on our hardware and we're going to use our Craig jig with that as well. So here we are, we got our drawer slides in now. Makes our lives so much easier. Nice little soft close right there. There it is start putting away stuff in these drawers and now it's time to put everything back I also put the old trim back in and I was able to extend this out um, you can still see the old nail holes in there and the new brad hole nails um, but other than that I'm loving how this is looking and just like that this closet is complete. We have three storage areas for your bigger items. We have three drawers of storage as well. We have a hanging bar. We have our top shelf of storage there, and we have enough room for our vacuum and mop and such. And that's it for this video. Uh, I'm pretty happy with building out this closet. My first time ever building out a closet. Again, three quarter inch radiata pine is the uh, material we used. We one sheet and yeah I'm extremely happy with this um, I drew up the plans myself and it worked so 
can't help but feel good about that but that is it for this week's video please like the video if you like the video leave a comment down below did you try this project what did you think what could i have done better let me know down below i love learning and if you could subscribe to the channel i'd greatly appreciate that we're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we are doing a 500 subscriber giveaway along the way so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be entered into that the rules are down below and yeah that's it for this week's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to keep god number one god bless